Okay, let's wait for two more minutes and then we start. Can you hear me, Natalia? Loud and clear. Okay. Let's wait only for two, two more minutes. Okay, uh, so hi everyone. Welcome to the first virtual meeting of systematics, biogeography and evolution. We are happy um, to have you, or to have all of you in this event. First of all, uh, I want to start talking to you about the nature of our meeting. So our main concern was to reach people who usually have economic constraints to attend to most of the international meetings in different scientific areas. Uh, the beginning of this meeting was in the middle of some chatting with friends. So here we are. We are a group of self-organized Ibero-American young people that work in different places. Um, today we present to you the most inclusive meeting that we could build. And for that reason, we care uh, about the details in different aspects. Uh, the SB meeting brings together researchers from, with different backgrounds and perspectives. For example, here we have people who work with parsimony, Bayesian inference, uh, qualescent theory. And also we have researchers that use morphological data, genomic data, and et cetera. Uh, we want to promote the active participation of underrepresented minorities in STEM. And we also promote the active and equitable participation of all genders. Finally, uh, we wanted to be flexible uh, about the language of the speakers to talk. In this regard, in my personal opinion, I think that here in Latin America, for example, is a privilege if you could talk in different language uh, than your native language. And for that reason, I believe that more flexible logistics about the language of the talks could be an inclusive topic to take into account. Now I will just to present the organizing committee of the meeting. Uh, for the symposium of biology, we, we have Susan Ortiz, that is a Colombian in Australia. And there is Machado, a Brazilian, a Brazilian in the USA. Um, in the Symposium of Paleontology, uh, we have three people, Nadia Jair, and, and Andrew Cho, and Andres Algorriaga. All of them are from Argentina. In the Symposium of Diversity is Jimena Grosso from Ar Argentina, Hector Tejero from Spain, and Alejandra Pardo, a Colombian in Argentina. Uh, I, okay, I'm from Colombia, but I live in Argentina and together with Cynthia Jimenez, uh, a Colombian in New Zealand, we are in charge of the Symposium of Phylogenomics. Uh, for the Symposium of Biogeography, uh, there are three persons, uh, Iris Menendez from Spain, Salvador Arias, Colombian in Argentina, and Nicolás Hassi, a Colombian in USA. 
Finally, the symposium of methods. Uh, in the symposium of method, there are three people uh, that are Natalia Gonzalez uh, from Colombia and Juliet Waldron from Colombia and Jorge Flores that is an Argentinian living in Finland. Uh, also, we have a special series of talks that are organized by Jime Grosso, Ann Andrew Cho, and Ale Pardo. Uh, we have more than 1,200 registered people from 38 countries. Most of them are from Brazil and followed, for example, by Colombia and Argentina. But also we have some people like, for example, from uh, Pakistan and even from Indonesia. We uh, would like to thank uh, to our sponsors, especially to people of the Center for Computer Computational Evolution um, from New Zealand, who provide us the Zoom account that allow us to do this event. And we also are grateful with uh, Transmitting Science and Asociación Paleontológica Argentina, who are offering two awards for the poster presentation. Finally, I will give you some literal instructions and we will really appreciate that you could have them into account. Uh, first of all, always have in mind our code of conduct, turn off cameras and micro microphones while the speakers are presenting to reduce the data usage. Do not use the chat uh, or Q&A future to Zoom, of Zoom to say hi or comment about the talks, etc. Those kind of things should be written in the Discord server. Report question address to speakers via uh, Q&A future for webinars in Zoom. And please check if your question has already been asked. Uh, you can vote for questions that you are more interested in. And uh, we will be re reading the question that get the most votes. Uh, just a couple of announcements. Uh, I will give the announcement in Spanish and in English. Please remember that the poster presentation are hosted in Discord. If you want to ask questions to the presenters, you must configure to uh, the push to talk keybind. The, this keybind allows you to uh, talk if you were using a walkie talkie so you can talk during the time you push the keybind. We want that next year uh, another group, group of people could organize the second version of the ESB meeting. So we will open a survey, a pool in Discord to select a group of people to do that. If you want to organize the event next year, you should send an email with the list of person of the proposed organizing committee. Uh, but in a few minutes, there will be more details in the Discord server. But you could start to think in some persons to build uh, your group. Ah, ahora en español voy a decir para que quede más claro. Eh, por favor, recuerden que las presentaciones de posters van a estar alojadas en Discord. Si quieren hacer alguna pregunta a los presentadores de los posters, entonces deben configurar las teclas eh, pulsar para hablar, el atajo. Esas teclas les van a permitir usar eh, la voz como si fuera un walkie talkie. Eh, y entonces pueden hablar solamente mientras tienen oprimida la tecla que hayan configurado. Eh, el otro año queremos que otras personas sean las encargadas de organizar la segunda versión del evento. Eh, por lo cual vamos a abrir una encuesta en Discord para seleccionar un grupo de personas que pues, se, se quieran presentar. Entonces, si ustedes quieren organizar el evento el próximo año, deben enviar un mail con la lista de personas eh, para el comité organizador propuesto. En algunos minutos vamos a poner más detalles en, en el servidor de Discord, pero pueden empezar a pensar en nombres de las personas que quieren conformar este grupo. Eh, no, eh. Ok, let's, let's begin with the symposium of methods. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ambrosio. Thank you, Natis. Okay, guys, so welcome again to everyone who's just tuning in. And we're gonna present each of our speakers in the symposium. Let me share my screen with you. 
Okay, I hope that everyone can see my screen now. So this is the Symposium of Methods in Phylogenetic Inference. For this, we're gonna introduce you to our keynote speaker. He's Pablo Golobov. He's a senior researcher at CONICET and a research associate at American Museum of Natural History in New York. He was on the editorial board of several uh, international journals. So please, Dr. Bolov, uh, before you get started, I would like to give a couple of... Okay, I'm on? Yeah, yeah, wait, one minute, one minute. Uh, yes. A couple of details of this talk, a compromise approximation to inapplicable characters. So the talk is gonna be 30 minutes long and followed by a 15 minute Q&A session the recording or taking pictures on any social sharing of this talk is prohibited. So please uh, refrain from doing it. And Dr. Golobov will be receiving questions in English, Spanish, or Portuguese, and answering them in English or Spanish. So Dr. Golobov, whenever you're ready. Okay, should I share the screen? Yes, please. Okay. My own. <laughs> 